Hard time finding a good place to get on the water in this summer heat. Danger is keeping boaters off of Lake Travis. Bans are also underway for Lake Austin and Lady Bird Lake, but Austin Fire has kept Barton Creek open for kayakers and swimmers in recent weeks. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller looks into why that creek is still open. These waters are proving deadly. City records show the fire department issued bans on using Barton Creek in April and a day in May, but we found no notice of a ban here in the last few weeks. And that time, two people died on the creek. We found the decision to keep Barton Creek open has a lot to do with numbers, and this spot, a short hike into the Greenbelt. Equipment here measures the flow of water, and once it gets above 1,500 cubic feet per second, the Austin Fire Department is supposed to ban swimming and boating on Barton Creek. But recent cases show the waters prove dangerous even when flows are below that threshold. May 27th, crews rescued a woman tubing near Spyglass Drive. The creek was flowing at up to 1,000 cubic feet per second near that time, still about 500 feet below the threshold. Police said the creek was open. A few days later, 34-year-old Leah Durrett died also tubing on Barton Creek. The flow then, 827 cubic feet per second, also below the limit. This week, 24-year-old Caesar Kynes, a lifeguard, died when he went swimming. The flow was less than 600 feet per second at the point we examined. An AFD captain spoke while the Barton Creek Greenbelt was still closed and crews were still searching for Caesar. The waterway, unfortunately, as you know, is, is open. Uh, you know, and so there's, there's some things that we're trying to navigate and around and move, but, but as us as emergency responders and emergency workers, we are asking you guys uh, to stay out of the, the, all the trail systems. Ban or not, it's up to you to look out for your safety in these potentially deadly waters. Kevin Schwaller, KXN investigates. A spokesperson for the fire department says she does not think AFD should be explaining the threshold. She says a group effort by city agencies came up with the rules more than 10 years ago. We wanted to know the players in that decision and we're still asking questions and trying to get an answer. You can check the flow and level of the water under the lake level section of our website. Right now, the recommendation is to stay out of the water.